In my last Bone Lab video, I got a bunch of comments saying that I'd barely scratched the surface of what Bone Lab mods have to offer. And I agree with you, so today we're going to go through five more, which changed my game experience a lot more than the last few maps did, adding new weapons and maps. I jumped straight back into GM Construct and pulled out my latest toy, which is lightsabers. <laughs> now I've tried lightsabers before in Rec Room, but they didn't really have any lightsaber properties, they were just kind of like big glow sticks that pass through everything you touch. But with Bone Lab, lightsabers interact the way you would think. Oh, I'm just... Oh, you are, you are not doing too well, sir, are you? I don't think it can go through. Oh, it can, it can, but it's just like a sword. I mean, you can't cut straight through an enemy with it, but it makes all the right noises, it collides properly, you can stab people with it. It's basically a glorified sword, but actually having the turning on and off animations for the lightsabers with all the sounds and all the accurate models for each lightsaber for each character, it's kind of nuts. Obi-Wan's question mark? I can't remember. I was in my absolute element here with lightsabers that I'd seen in movies and TV shows for the past, well, my whole life. And seeing them in real scale with all the detail that you'd expect from an actual prop in real life. Oh, it's so nuts. It's so nuts. So naturally, I had to spawn in about 20 enemies and absolutely go to town with them. Oh shit. I did find that some are easier to use than others. I mean, I thought a double bladed lightsaber would be awesome, but now I have no idea how Ray Park used one in The Phantom Menace because they're fucking impossible to control. Okay, this is a lot harder to use than the movies make it seem. We're gonna go double handed. That's a good defensive measure. Can I? Yep. I must admit the amount of fun I was having slicing up people was borderline psychopathic, but it's Star Wars, so family friendly content. Oh my god. You're not okay. You're you're good. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're good. Oh, okay. The problem is poking them. Okay, that does the trick. Another mod I installed were Nerf guns. Well, to be specific, one Nerf gun, probably the smallest Nerf gun that's ever been made, the Jolt. Although in VR, for some reason, this model isn't very small. It's fucking massive. I have no idea why, but the scaling is off. And obviously it's a Nerf gun with one hole at the front, so you can only load one bullet at a time. And the priming mechanism is just busted completely, but it was kind of fun to see it in VR, I guess. How am I supposed to do that? Is that is that primed? Why is this jolt so big? No. And apparently it kills. Okay, can I put more than one? No. I don't know why I added it, because I could just go into my cupboard and bring out one of my old Nerf guns. Um, but, yeah. But you know what's better than a Nerf gun is a mini gun. And that's exactly what I got next. How, how does one, how does one pick? Oh God! which was a, uh, a very balanced weapon that was not overpowered whatsoever. All right. While these weapons are all really fun to play around with, there's no point in having them if you don't have a good map to use them on. And I'm not sure if I'll classify the next map that I downloaded as good, but it was interesting. I got a big water park and the slides were a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. And there's no water, so they're just big slides. However, you do take go-karts and take them down and pretend like you're on water, but it only works so well. Oh! Oh no! No, 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 okay, now get me out. Oh my god, that made me feel fucking horrendously sick. Luckily, the flying tool helps you get around this map to basically any point that you want. Without it, you'd be completely stuck once you get to the bottom. Uh, but I did manage to make myself really, really sick, not with the flying tool, but just by throwing myself off the side in a go-kart. Let's go. Oh my god. This was a mistake. This was a very, very big mistake. But... Oh. Uh. Ah. There, that was, that was not a good idea. That was not a good idea. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
Now, I'd say my VR legs are pretty well developed by now. I've played VR since 2016 when the PSVR 2 launched, so I can handle movement very, very well. But this was the limit for me. Uh, no. To be honest, go-karts and bone lab just don't seem to agree with me ever. They have been fixed from the last time I played them, but yeah, they, they still don't agree with me at all. Oh, cry! I can't hack it. I can't hack it. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Before we come back to this LSD induced water park, there was another map that I installed that I wanted to check out, and it's more of a narrative one. Well, I say narrative, it's just got an objective. But it's not really a sandbox map. It starts you at the start, and you work your way through it by killing enemies. This one is set on a train, and you're supposed to fight your way up to the front of the train to reach some gold. It's pretty simple, but it was effective. Okay. Okay, it was a lot more fun than I expected it to be because I didn't really think maps like this would work, but it does. You don't see anything. Uh. Ah! I didn't. Oh fuck! I didn't know I'd be fighting the Terminator. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Whoa! I felt that. Although, if you fail it puts you right back to the start. There are no checkpoints whatsoever, but it isn't that long of a level, so I can give it a pass. I can climb? Question mark. Apparently not. Okay, the only way for me to fail and restart is to shoot myself in the head, so... There is no checkpoints to this level, apparently. Get off my train, you bitch. Ugh. <sighs> that was stressful, but fun. Anyway, going back to the water park, I finally fixed the crop on my recording software so it no longer looks like I'm playing on 50 FOV. And I found a bunch more lightsabers in the pack to play around with. But I realized I had my ultimate weapon. So now I needed my ultimate challenge. And last time I faced this challenge, it didn't go so well. No, 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 get off my fucking head. But now, I think I'm ready. One of them's already awake. Come on then. Okay, they, they're still fucking horrifying. Activate the shit out of them, and they can't do anything. Oh god. Oh fuck, okay, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made it. Fucking Jesus! Stop! So yeah, these mods are a lot of fun, and I encourage you to take a look on Mod.io and see if there's anything that takes your fancy, because there's bound to be something. There's thousands of these. Anyway, thank you for watching and joining me for a short time today, rambling on about some random mods that I found really enjoyable, and I hope to see you again. <laughs> oh my god! You alive? I think that's a no.